Oh, it is today, Tim. Today we're going to give an example of masking fluid. This is a new one to me. What is masking fluid? Uh, so this is a latex-based uh, material that you're going to lay down varieties of uses to do either uh, chipping effects or to mask an area that you don't want to paint. So it's like a liquid that hardens and then it, you can peel it off. Yeah, liquid basically. latex, basically. This is a new line for us. A new line, but an old brand. It's been around for a long time. I'm not sure how long, but they, they do a whole paint line. They do from Japan? glues, yep, from Japan. More more familiar maybe in the Gundam crowd. Oh, yeah. Uh, but this is, you know, stuff that's very useful to our customers as well. So we've, we've... had all sorts in, uh, different glues, uh, plastic cements. So the what use cases have we got for this stuff today? So today you're going to paint a base. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to paint a base. You're not going to paint a base. Well, You're I am going to paint gonna... it onto a base. <laughs> so basically, our custom minis that we do come on a lovely clear, a uh, lovely gloss base. Now, normally these are separate. This is an X display one that I want to paint up, and I don't want to lose that sort of glossy base while I prime this thing. So um, I'm hoping to cover it up nicely. Now, this is obviously quite a edge use case, but the same sort of thing will apply for a mini. Uh, with like a spell effect, like these sort of things, you know, you might want to uh, cover up that sort of nice clear there before you prime the rest of the model so that you can use some nice glazes and stuff on the clear. So this would be what you would use that kind of technique for. Um, and then also... And then I'm going to splash some orangey browns onto this robot and then sponge some masking fluid on it to do a chipping effect. We'll start with the little robot then. Started off by giving it a base coat in a sort of orangey brown color and then using a couple of different sort of goldy orangey browns. We're gonna stipple them on just using a bit of packing foam. In an attempt to speed up this process, we used a hairdryer, but you know what they say, more haste, less speed. Once it was all dry, we're gonna use that same bit of stipple sponge or a fresh bit I guess to use some of the liquid latex here then and again the more you put on here the more the rust effect is going to show through later on basically wherever the latex sits here is the, going to be the rusty bit later on so less is obviously more here actually but we probably go a little bit over the top here just to kind of show the process for this video I'm going to show you a little bit later on of uh, some proper models that Tim's been working on using this technique where it's been used a little bit more subtly and uh, it turns out really quite nice once that's dry we then add it on to the base coat uh, you can use a brush here you can use an airbrush we're just using a rattle can of some gloss white because we think that will give quite a good sort of uh, change to the rust and again we wanted to try and get this one sort of quick and done really just to kind of show you the process back to the hairdryer and then once it's all nicely dry it wasn't quite dry enough actually make sure you give it a good time to really dry uh, it's just a case of peeling the latex off for the most part it'll just come off with fingers uh, you can see we've got an old toothbrush there it's also quite handy to uh, to go at it and really get into the finer pieces where it uh, where it really stuck in you'll see then wherever the latex was that sort of rusty texture is shining through or not shining so to speak and it gives you a really great rusty looking finish. Like I say, we've probably gone a little bit over the top here with the rust to really show how it works, but you can see here with some fallout figures uh, how the effect can look if you're a little bit more subtle with that latex application. And it'll look great. My one was a little bit more straightforward. I'm applying the liquid latex using the little brush that comes in the pot. And while that's good for larger areas, it's actually worth getting a small but old brush that you can really sort of paint this into the nooks and crannies where you want it to go. Then a thin layer here, bearing in mind that it dries clear if it's thin enough, so it may look like you've missed a bit, but actually it's not, it's just where it's drying. And, uh, and once it's completely covered, again, we use the hairdryer to speed up the process. Not having a good time with hairdryers today. After that, I was just base coating it like usual. I use uh, the Mechanus Grey from Army uh, from uh, GW, sorry, as my sort of go-to rattle can primer. So make sure we give it a good coat with that. And once it was dry, it was again just a case of peeling away the latex. Usually you can just get it your fingers in there. I don't have fingernails. I bite my fingernails. I know they're gross, but you know fingernails would normally be quite good for getting in there and peeling them away. You also see I've got a little handy uh, tool there. I, I think that's a clay tool or something that Tim had lying around that's also really useful for sort of getting in and pulling the bits of latex away. Any little bits that you've missed, you can sort of take them away with a gentle scrape of a craft knife. Uh, but obviously the main thing here we wanted to do was keep that glossy finish. Uh, and honestly, you would probably leave that latex on until the until you'd finish the whole paint process if you really want to keep something clean uh, again we've just sort of peeled this away to show you a couple of easy uses for the liquid latex or the masking fluid whatever you want to call it from mr hobby i'll put a link in the 
description to all of the Mr. Hobby line uh, uh, range that we've got in store. You can check those out. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Keep it here with a subscription for more from the Game Chamber. Thank you.